Hello, sugar babies. Grandma Trina back again tonight. I'm sending you kisses and tight hugs. Mm, tight hugs. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's having a good day today. Today's another good day. Today will be Sunday. And Sunday is what? It's the Lord's Day. So I hope you're thinking about Him, thinking about some Bible stories I used to tell you. I was thinking about David and Goliath. Remember that? He faced a huge giant, didn't he? And the giant looked very big to all his brothers because they didn't see him through the eyes of faith. So David came along. He had the eyes of faith. And he ended up defeating that giant. And I want you guys to remember how. And if you don't know how, you need to Go back to your Bible books. So every single one of you have Bible books. I know I bought them for you at some point in your lives. And go read the story of David and Goliath. What we're facing, this, this is unusual, but it's kind of like a giant. This virus that's uh, gotten out of hand. But really, the giant that we face still can be fought with the same battles. We're going to have to have faith in God and faith that everything's going to come out fine. So just keep having faith. Remember, David was a really small boy, but he defeated the giant. So tonight, I want to talk to you guys about spring and some things that I know you guys are supposed to be on spring break. Audrey, you were going to Florida. I was going to Florida, too. I wanted to be on a boat. I wanted to see the beautiful water. There's things we wanted to do that we can't do, but we can still try to think about what we're going to do this summer. We're going to go ahead and have plans. We're going to go ahead and have fun things to look forward to. We were supposed to go to a hotel and have a swimming party. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, but we're just pushing things back. We're not canceling them. So in this time, spring break, I know you would have liked to do other things, but we're just going to push things back. We're going to have more fun this summer, okay? So we can probably still all get together and have an egg hunt. Or if we can't find eggs, we'll find something. And we're going to go to Christina's behind her house and have a, that big field. And we don't all have to be in a building to have fun, right? It's going to be warm pretty soon and we'll get to get together then. So I want to tell you a little bit more about Ralph. Now Ralph, the little monkey, is getting bigger. Because why? Because he's taking nourishment. The, the man, his friend, has been feeding him. He's been feeding him really good things. So as Ralph got back to the man's house, the man was planning a big trip. The man was a missionary. Missionaries take the Bibles to far off country and spread the good news. So this Sunday, I want to spread some good news to you, okay? God is still in control. Jesus is still right there with you. And if you pray and ask him to be with you, he, he's already there. So have faith and stay positive. And the monkey was learning this too. Ralph the monkey was learning about God. His faith was growing and the man was planning a trip. He was going to take Ralph on a missionary trip. He was packing little Bibles. He was packing things. And Ralph and the man went across over the Caribbean into a little bunch of islands. And when they got there, there was such an aroma and such beauty. Ralph had never seen these things. They were tropical flowers. And did you know monkeys love to eat flowers? Mm-hmm. Ralph didn't know what these flowers would taste like. There was red ones and orange ones and yellow ones. And he was, he was uh, interested. But once he got there and started seeing all the wonderful things that was there, the man started to pluck this flower and present it. And day after day, the man would give him another flower. He would try it and he would say, hmm, tastes like Reese Cups. <laughs> Maybe not Reese Cups. But you know what? Things often taste good into different people. So whatever our tastes are, we can't say yucky, yucky, yucky. We got to just say, okay, tastes like Reese Cups to some people. Okay. So anyway, maybe at Easter we'll have some Reese cups. So Ralph started eating his flowers and he started listening to the man talk about Jesus. And he heard about that story about David and Goliath. 
Now he couldn't aunt talk to the man, but he knew that the man was trying to do good works. And when he was over there, he would meet little children, little children like you. And what did he say? He said, the Bible teaches us to let the little children come unto me. So Jesus wants us to come unto him. God wants us to come unto him and make our petitions, make our prayers known. So anything you want, you not like, I want an Xbox or I want, you know, a new Switch game. Luke and Kinsey has that. Or I want a new case for my phone. I know that's what you teenagers always are asking for. But serious things we want some peace in this world we want some health for our, our families we want all the good things so continue to pray and ralph was starting to learn to pray he started praying for the man to help the little children because while he was over there he's seen some little children that was hungry and know what the man did the man taught them how to clean the water with the filter he taught them how to pluck the different flowers and you can eat flowers. You know, there's some flowers that even us as humans can eat. They're edible flowers. I know because I took Sandy on a vacation and they brought us a delicious little dessert. It was like a little pudding cup and it had a really pretty little purple little flower. And I said, oh, Sandy, these are so nice. I'll take a picture of them. So I took and got my phone and I just started to put it up and I looked over and I said, where's the flower? You know what she did? She was like, oh. <laughs> And I said, you didn't even eat around it and try to think about what that flower would taste like? She said, no. I was so curious that I just ate it first. So I never got a picture of that flower. But I was thinking how funny it is that some people, I ate around mine, and I was like, mm, I don't know if I like a flower or not. But Sandy ate it up real quick. So as you're on quarantine and as we're rationing different kind of foods out, you might be trying some beans you might be trying some rice. You might be trying different kind of pastas. I know. It's all different. Strange. But you'll get used to it. I know that you got to eat what you got to eat until we can find things. Get back in normal. But I hope you're trying to be open-minded like Ralph. But he started liking the flowers. First, he was curious. I don't think I'd like it. But then he was just like Sandy on that second flower. He's like, oh. <laughs> and he ate it and ate it and ate it. And Ralph ended up learning something on that trip, that he enjoyed new things. He enjoyed the children, and the thing that he enjoyed the most, and the thing I miss the most, is you guys' laugh. When Audrey and Lily were here last time, they sat on the couch and they were showing each other their phone. I remember the hearing them laugh. I remember Kinsey laughing, and Sophie laughing, and JJ laughing, and little Liam he has a little laugh, and I remember... All these little laughs. That was what Ralph was looking at. He was listening. He was like, I like that. That sounds like a different kind of music that I like. So Ralph began to hear the songs. The man would get his guitar out. And he would play children's songs. He would learn to teach the children. They would learn. And they began singing together in the Caribbean language. It was a broken English, but they could still understand the man. And it was just wonderful to have them learn the songs, especially this one. Jesus loves me. You guys know it. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. You Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves you, and so do I. I love you so very much. I send you nice, tight hugs. I tell you, have a good day. Do something interesting today. Go out and look at the nature. Go out and look at this beautiful day that God's made just for us. There's a verse of scripture I'm going to teach you tonight. Listen up. Rejoice and be glad in this day, right? We're going to rejoice and be glad. Every day we're going to think about that. This is a day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's what the psalmist David was trying to teach us. And David, that taught us that song, 
was the little boy that killed Goliath. So you see, he went on and done great and mighty things. You might be small, little boy. You might be a small little girl. You might even be a big little girl. And Tony, you might even be taller than me. And Lily, we're still eye to eye <laughs> for a little while. But remember, no matter how what your size is, you're still going to do great and mighty things. And God's got great things planned for you. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to see you. I love you. Mm. Keep being sweet, sugars. Keep being nice to brothers and sisters. Keep being the sugars I know you can be. Just sweet as can be. Love you guys. Love my sugars.